Hello, this is Pinky, and this is going to be basically a tutorial on how to optimize your avatar. This will be a very surface level guide, uh, as there is a lot of things you can do which will involve Blender and other programs. But for this tutorial specifically, I'll be going over just Unity and some plugins you can use. So the first two that I would recommend will of course be VRC Fury. Uh, you can head over to the download here, follow these steps and get it added. And then the second tool I'd recommend is Dark's Optimizer. Basically follow the installation guide here. After you've successfully read and done this all, if you head over into your Unity, go to your Creator Companion. And if you have your project here, as you can see, it's active. Go to the Manage Project section, and you should see VRC Fury and Dark Optimizer. Now, in this case specifically, you can see that there's an update. So I'll actually want to update my version here. And you want to make sure that everything in your list is on the latest, latest version. And if you know, if you want to know if it's installed or not, you should have a red minus sign. This basically means you can remove it, which means that it's installed. And if there's something in this list that you don't want or you do want added, you just hit the plus to add it. Now, after we're done that, uh, it's basically just going to update. So this is an expected thing that should pop up. Uh, this can take anywhere from around 10 to 30 seconds, depending on what exactly is being changed. Um, as you can see here. Okay, now that that is done, we are actually going to get into the meat and potatoes. So we have our avatar here, and we're going to be wanting to optimize this. Because as this stands right now, it's pretty unoptimized. It has quite a few issues uh, with upload, and it would be rated very poor. So with this tutorial, I'm going to select my avatar. going to scroll down to add a component. And so the first two that I will recommend are going to be the VRC Fury optimizers. So we have the blend shape optimizer here. So I will add that one. And then I will have the direct tree optimizer. So to briefly explain these, the blend tree, um, if you look over at your body here and in this blend tree section, there's a lot of different things here. And each of these carry data, which basically takes up space on your avatar. And so what this script will do, will basically check all of those, see if any of them are unused. And if they're not used, it will delete them, which will add more space or will remove unnecessary data from your avatar. Now, the bl direct blend tree optimizer is a uh, FX layer optimizer. So if you head over to your FX layer here, you can see you see a massive list of different things here. Um, and basically what the optimizer will try to do is it will take this massive list and it will try to compact it down into smaller ones, which basically will optimize the runtime of your avatar, meaning it will feel a little smoother to run in lobbies. Uh, this is specifically noticeable if you're in really big instances with a lot of people. Now, the next components that we are going to add, uh, specifically for the uh, blend shape here, is the MMD compatibility. So if your avatar has MMD blend shapes, or it has, you know, the talking and dancing with Miku Miku Dance compatibility worlds. Um, basically, you're going to want to enable this, as otherwise the blend, uh, bench blend shape optimizer will remove it completely. So this will basically keep it enabled on your avatar. Now we will get to the big one here, which is going to be Dark's optimizer. So D4RK right here. And if you open this guy up, you will see there is a whole lot of stuff. Uh, basically, this here will show you and kind of tell you uh, what's being optimized exactly. So it's telling you the amount of blend shapes, the amount of layers, stuff like that. And there's a whole bunch of settings here that you can go through. So basically, uh, we want to have this one enabled. It will apply it on upload. Um, then with the merge skinned meshes, this basically means if you see on this avatar here, I have a body, I have hair, I have eyes, and they're all different meshes so what this tool specifically that setting will do is it will combine those all into one which will lower the amount of air space it takes up as well as optimizing it at the same time now there is one thing to note is if you're using uh shaders like poyomi that have say audio link or they have hue shift it can break some of that stuff so i would recommend following the part two of this tutorial which will be out in the future um, but if you don't have anything super fancy, this will easily optimize your avatar and make it better used in worlds. Um, you can now see there's optimized FX layer. This is pretty much the same thing that VRC Fury does. So we can actually get rid of this one since we're already going to have another tool that does it. Um, so the next thing, disable fizz bones when unused. 
This basically means if you have hair that's turned off and it disables the fizz bone, it's going to disable that as well, which is just an optimized way of going about things. This I would recommend. Um, the merge same ratio blend shapes, this is basically just blend shape stuff. Again, if you have any questions about the specific things, you can actually click on the little things here or hover over it and it will tell you exactly what it does. Uh, so we have keep MMD blend shapes. As I stated already, this is the Miku Miku Dance, pretty much the same thing as the blend shape uh, optimizer. There's delete unused components. So if you have, say, empty, uh, let's say I put a empty object here and this serves no purpose, what this script will do is it will basically get rid of that object. So we want to keep that on. Same thing goes for here, game objects. If this game object is here, it will get rid of it. And then we have the ring uh, finger as foot collider. This is basically allows you to like touch people with your feet or do any kind of colliders and stuff like that. This is more so just a quality of life feature that you can enable. Um, so if you want to do that, you can. Otherwise, don't worry about it. Then there comes basically some recommendations here. So uh, right here, it tells to do some special compressing. So I will just convert it over to that. And now, as you can see, this is basically what it's going to optimize our avatar into and we can kind of see what it looks like now if we want to go a little bit more advanced so we can do say the shader toggles here which will use shader toggles and it will merge some more stuff um, of course it will get rid of some game objects this can cause things to break so i will warn you about that and as you can now see we have our skin meshes going from eight down to two we have the mesh renders being at one material slots going to eight and this is going to optimize your avatar a whole lot um, as you can see we'll still have some issues but it will at least be better off in this setting now the last thing i want to go over in this video is going to be the materials so um, if you head over to any of these parts of your avatar and you click on your shader here you go over to the normals and stuff and you see these two little textures and stuff uh, this will basically open the path you want to click on this and you can see that the avatar texture is at 4K. So when you look at the avatars, you can see there's a lot of def definition and things you can make out. Um, I would recommend, honestly, a lot of stuff. Basically, you want to keep your body at 4K and almost everything else should be less than that. So as an example, this normal map should not be at 4K. This should be at around 2K or even 1K. You can get away with that. So for this example, I'm going to set it to 1K and I'm going to hit apply to that. Uh, same things with this one. This is also a body map, so I'm going to change that to 1K. Um, same here. Change this guy down to 1K. Even for some roughness maps, you can even put it down to 500, and that is something you can do. And right here, 8K. You never want to use 8K on your avatar ever. So for this one, I'd recommend even 4K, or specifically in this case, I'm going to do 2K. This will optimize your avatar a lot. So I'm going to just quickly go over each one of these. Uh, this texture this is fine. The eyes here. Um, right over here, we can put those down to 1K. A good rule, rule of thumb is if you look at your avatar and you look at its different parts, um, as you can see, the body will be taking up most of it. So that's why you set that one to 4K. The clothing tends to be about one half. So you set that to 2K or 1K. The eyes, you can get down to 1K or even 512, uh, depending on how you go about it. Like this one, I could even put lower. And if you zoom in and hit apply, you can notice basically very little change to the eye. It gets a little more grainy, but from a distance, it looks like it's unchanged. Um, specifically, this pin over here on the outfit, um, if I am to just go over to it and look at the pin, and then I go over to the texture of this pin. Uh, you can see that it's at 512, but I can actually put that down to 256. And if I hit apply, it's a very, very unnoticeable change. And that just halved the size of the material. So quickly finishing off, just going through this, uh, this texture right here. See, this one is 2K. And as you can see, this is the texture that's used for the earrings and stuff. And we can actually get this down probably to 512. And basically zero change has been done here, but on the backside, it is going to be much more optimized. So after we have gone through and looked at everything, just to quickly double check and confirm this one, 
going to put that down to 1k as well and hit apply this thing as well 1k apply and this one 1k and hit apply and then the actual texture itself outfit hit this main one here and then set this one to 1k as well and hit apply and now as you can see the avatar has pretty much not changed at all visually. It looks pretty spot on from what I, we originally had. But as you will be able to see in game soon, the overall optimization has absolutely changed. So finally, with all of that in mind, I am going to upload this version of the avatar over to VRChat. And I'm going to do optimized hyenid model. And then I'm just going to select a little screenshot here. I don't have a light source, so I'll quickly turn that on. There we go. Hit capture. So as we can see, our model, optimize hyenid. And after that is done, I'm going to upload. And then I'm going to switch back into VR chat to basically show off the differences here between an unoptimized version and the version that we just went through and did all these steps for. Okay, and now that we are inside of VR chat, um, I will head over to avatars and head over to the optimized hyenid. This is the one we just uploaded. And if you scroll down to the description, you can see that the download size is pretty small. Texture memory is pretty small. Compressed size is smaller. Uh, triangles. This one, unfortunately, is red. And this is mostly just due to the fact that the avatar uh, at the base has a very high triz count. Uh, and this is not something that scripts can easily modify. You can use tools like Polytool to get this down. But in my part two, I will show you how to do this with Blender for free. So uh, stick around for that one. Uh, but as you can see, skin meshes are down and the material counts are down and basically a few other things. Um, and in addition to that, when you go to the menu and stuff, almost everything works the exact same. Uh, as I did warn, the emissions and such did break on this avatar, and that's just due to it compacting all the textures down into one, and it makes it a little harder for it to know what needs to be emission. So the part two will be going over how to fix this. Uh, if your avatar doesn't have hue shift or any emissions, then this won't actually affect you anyway. Uh, but as you can see, with everything else, um, everything is working perfectly fine. The hair and toggles work. The uh, clothing toggles. Everything is working on the avatar as usual. And so one last thing that I would like to warn, that is if your avatar uses emotes or dances, normally uh, these will work fine. But the VRC Fury compactor can sometimes mess up them. So what I can recommend is when you go to your avatar inside of the Unity, and you go over to the high unit here, and you just go over to the inspector and scroll down. You can actually add the fix right defaults and just set the mode to disabled. Uh, this will stop it from overriding or changing your FX layers in any way that can cause them to break. Uh, additionally, you can actually just redo the layers and make them more optimized, and you won't even have to use this tool. But if you're ending up having issues with any animations or stuff, uh, feel free to add this and then also set it to disabled. Now, one last thing I would like to mention is with the body here, you can, uh, what I personally did is the body texture, I put it down to 2K uh, instead of 4K just because it didn't make a big difference here. If you go over to your avatar and you see that changing it from 4K to 2K makes it look really pixely and bad, you can stick with that. But for this case, at least, there was basically zero change and it optimized the avatar additionally. Uh, and then one last thing is if you have extra textures or stuff that isn't being used by your avatar. So say you have a hair color for a hair type that isn't used on this one. You can actually just delete the file and it will compact or make your project a little bit smaller. Now with all these things combined, if I am to say compare this to the VRC Fury version, um, or rather the no VRC Fury version. So this is an upload of just the base with nothing really changed about it. And as you can see in the mirror, um, it looks pretty identical in the form of everything, has the same menu. But if we head over to the details, uh, you can see that it is actually larger in texture, larger in size. It has more skin meshes. It has more material slots. Uh, this is basically a poor or a, around a medium styled avatar at this state. 
but the other guy, as you can see, is a good one with the green here. So that's basically been a little tutorial on how to optimize your avatar. Um, if you have enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, otherwise, uh, it's been Pinky, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Hello, and this is a thank you to my Patreons, starting with the Goober tier. Thank you, Teff, Sir Fappingson, Kit Chimera, Ethan West, Emerald Knoll, and Artix Embertail. And over in the Mentally Insane category, thank you, Foxy Paws. Thank you, Kirchin the Floof. And thank you, Blue Nino. And over on the YouTube memberships, I'd like to thank Blue Nino One as well as AZ3. Uh, what you guys do really helps support the channel. The last kind of three months, I've had a uh, kind of break and been dealing with a lot of stuff and kind of bettering myself. And in the process, I have kind of neglected the channel. But I am hoping to make a couple more videos by the end of the year. So I will hopefully see you guys around. If you are interested in getting a desk goober or just supporting me, please go to the description. Otherwise, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day.